Welcome to The Morning Report, a production of fightbackmedia.com, the number one source of urban conservative information in America. Well, good morning, good morning. Welcome to The Morning Report. My name is William Lawson, The Morning Report is a production of fightbackmedia.com, 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 and fightbackmediatv.com. It is a pleasure to be here. It is Wednesday. It's a cool day here in West Central Florida. It's only 86 degrees partly sunny. It's going to rain later because it's still summertime here. Uh, so it's a uh, brisk fall day <laughs> here in uh, West Central Florida. Yesterday, well, last night, was the uh, presidential debate between uh, Kamala Harris and Donald Trump <sighs> and ABC. <laughs> I know one of the bit. One of the major complaints from, from those of us on the right is that it seemed, to us anyway, like not only was Donald Trump in a debate with Kamala Harris, was also in a debate with ABC News. And I know that seems like, for a lot of people, that seems like a cop-out, and we're just making excuses because he didn't do very well, and blah, blah, blah. Well, let's just go to the, let's go to the tote board. Um in a uh, tweet by CNN, they claim that Harris only gave one false statement and that um, Donald Trump gave 33 false statements. And they only fact-checked them five times. They didn't fact-check Kamala Harris at all. Here's what the real tally is. Harris had 21, at least 21 false claims and hoaxes, according to Breitbart. And if you watched, um, we'll start with the whole very fine people, Charlottesville. Um, and that's been debunked about a billion times. Uh, Project 2025 hoax, we've debunked that right here on the morning report. Uh, number three, false claims on Trump's trade deficit there was no trade deficit. Uh, Putin can do whatever the hell he wants, taken out of, taken out of context. Uh, number five, uh, dictator on day on day one, obviously in jest. And Muir says, "Well, I listened to that quote, and I didn't see that you were that you were joking." Anyway, um, blaming botched Afghanistan withdrawal on Trump. Wow. 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 That somehow it was Trump's fault. Although he was not in charge. He was not president at the time. Uh, he was not giving orders. He was not doing anything. Uh, all of that was purely, purely, purely on the Biden administration, uh, which she would not take any, she would not take any responsibility for at all. You know, she said, I think that that president Biden did the right thing. Okay. So you and that you are also in that administration, and you're not gonna you're not gonna sign on to that, right? Okay, but you're not. Uh, the bloodbath when he was clearly talking about the economy, uh, abortion monitor hoax, what? Uh, rental property hoax. All these things were have been uh, d disproven, uh, have been debunked. Uh, the Central Park Five execution hoax. When everybody in New York, including the mayor, once uh, the Central Park Five initially pled guilty, were looking for the death penalty. Yeah. Uh, suckers and losers hoax that apparently uh, when it, Trump made a visit to uh, to Europe uh, to visit graves of of the fallen that uh, were buried in Europe, that somehow he said that these people were suck suckers and losers. Uh, no one ever heard that. No one ever heard that. The whole false fracking claims. Uh, false all oil production claims. Um, we were a, a, a net exporter of oil. And uh, somehow Kamala Harris uh, was saying that wasn't true, uh, although it was true, uh, that um, Trump is pushing a national sales tax, and he's not. And it's kind of too bad. It's kind of too bad. Um, distorting unemployment figures. Uh, it's their unemployment figures that have to be re uh, that have to be redone and 
pushed down pushed upwards every time they release uh a um a, a a stat about unemployment or whatever it always has to be redone and readjusted the next month and the and the unemployment and the and the people unemployed are always higher the last time jobs lost were some all, almost a million people off over 800,000 they had to be readjusted um i was ra <laughs> i was raised middle class she was not raised middle class she was not she was not um terminating the constitution that somehow that 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 trump wants to terminate the constitution not no not true um sold us out to china that president trump sold us out to china when we know that the Biden family got money from China, that somehow Harris is blaming Trump for selling us out to China. Interesting. Um, not one troop in any war. They they have not one troop in any war zone. Well, except they do, right? Uh, and um, yes, they're very much interested in taking away guns. They're very much interested in doing just that. That's 21 false statements and hoaxes delivered by by uh, by, uh, by Kamala Harris. Wow, wow! It just can do. You know, it it, it shouldn't. It shouldn't. You know, it it shouldn't surprise anybody um, that things worked out kind of like they did. Um, my 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 regret, if I could have a regret, is that um, it seemed that. Uh, President Trump somehow, I guess, got suckered in by the last one and didn't really ex seem like he didn't expect it. And he got super, and, and you could tell he was getting super irritated um, when he could have just played it cool. When he could have just played it cool. He could have just said, hey, listen, um, uh, when he was talking to um, the dude, he said, hey, listen, am I debating her or you? That would have exposed. That would have continued to expose them for, you know, how they're doing and what they were doing, and and this, and that was, and again, when when you, again, when you complain about the refs, sometimes you always look like you're bitter because you lost. No, if the refs, the refs are biased. If the refs, refs get it wrong, then it's okay to bring that up. Now, the other side will always go, I'm always complaining about the refs. Well, there's always something to complain about. Yes, I, and again, like I just said, I, I would have hoped that, that Trump would have known that that was the environment that he was going into. I and mean, then he didn't get suckered in like last time. Um, and then he wouldn't take the bait so easily. But, you know, I'll tell you what, I don't think it matters. Why? Because we got to do what we got to do. How about that? How about that? I don't think it matters if Trump won, wins the debate or, quote, loses the debate. The debate, I don't think it matters. Because what we do know is we got to do what we got to do. We have to do what we have to do. There is no way that we can allow for a uh, Kamala Harris presidency. Just can't do it. Can't do it. No matter what. No matter if there's another debate or there's not another debate, no matter how the debate with uh, Tim Waltz and um, J.D. Vance turns out, doesn't matter. Again, whether they have it or not, doesn't matter. What we already know is true. That a Kamala Harris presidency could very well be the end of the Republic. Could very well. And I know that sounds hyperbolic. Uh, I know I, I know it sounds sounds crazy. But you've seen what's happened thus far, right? You've seen what's happened thus far. And anytime you think it can't happen, it can't happen here. 
we are doing this podcast on the on September 11th, 2024. 23 years ago, you went to sleep last night and you woke up this morning and things were different. Your world was different. So please don't think it can't happen here. Please don't think that you can just because it's always been there that you can that your republic will exist just because it's always been there. It's just like Benjamin Franklin said, a republic, if you can keep it. My name is Willie Lawson. Thank you for coming to the uh, Morning Report. The Morning Report is, again, a production of fightbackmedia.com, 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 and fightbackmedia.tv.com. Until we see you again, go out there and learn something, love somebody, and for goodness sakes, I'll take care of yourself. We'll see you when we see you. Bye-bye now.